PeteTools.com. Okay, guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? Hey, I don't know if you guys are anything like me and your plasma cutting away and minding your own bloody business. Next thing you know, you blow all the bloody circuit breakers in your garage. That was just my bloody compressor starting up there, just to prove a damn point. But um, when you're plasma cutting and your compressor starts up, my garage just goes dark. It just blows all the circuits. Anyway, guys, that's what this video is about today. I found a way that I can continue plasma cutting without blowing all the circuits in my garage. Anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you've got a better idea. And let's get into it, eh? Yeah. So guys, as you know, or as you might not know, I run two different size compressors in my shop. This here is my big compressor, my three horsepower, three head compressor. And then I've started using this one lately. It's just a little baby one like that, if I've just got a little bit to cut at once. I'll show you what happens when I use both of them, guys, and you tell me if you can figure out what's wrong. So I've got my big compressor plugged in there, guys. You watch what happens. Or well, just listen what happens. See that guys? The lights bloody go out, the compressor starts, my workshop goes completely dark. So this really gets up your nose, eh? So now look what happens guys, if I plug in the little compressor and we do some cutting with the little compressor. <laughs> there you go, guys, same thing again but the little compressor. So did you notice guys, I could keep on cutting, the compressor was going, the plasma cutter was running, and my light stayed on, and nothing blew. So I'm thinking it might be my big compressor is trying to drag too much current out of my system, because it's getting pretty old like me and decrepit, so it might need a new motor or something on it. But I'm not quite sure, eh? So what I'm doing these days is if I'm cutting really short lumps like this, I'll just use a little compressor any day of the week. And another thing I found out, guys, you can plasma cut on a little compressor if you're only doing little bits like this. Anyway, it's a bit beyond me, guys. It's as if I've plugged that big compressor into an extension cord. So it's exactly the same thing if you plug it into an extension cord. It won't restart, and when it does restart, it blows out all the fuses. So, I don't know, guys. Hee <laughs> hee! So, guys, that's what I've discovered anyway. So I ended up using the small compressor more than I use the big one now. Um, I think it's getting worse and worse as that compressor is getting older and older. Like, we run 240 volts, 220, 240 volts here in New Zealand. But my garage is only 15 amp. They don't really put any more than 15 amp into a workshop. So maybe that's it too. Maybe I'm too lower amperage because, of course, the plasma cutter and a big compressor suck a lot of juice all at once. But, you know, even if you plug it into two different outlets in the, in the workshop, then you have the same issue because it's running through the same circuit. Anyway guys, if you've got any suggestions for me, put them in the uh, comments below. I might just have to bite the bullet and buy a bigger compressor. Because like I say, the older that compressor gets, the less it seems to want to do what it's supposed to do. I don't remember having such an issue when I first started plasma cutting. When I first got the compressor, when I got my plasma cutter the first time as well. When they were both new. Anyway, same as me, getting old and crapping out. Same old story guys. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. 
If you want to see a review on this plasma cutter here, check up on this side here. I'll put a link for you. And if you want to see a review on a little bit cheaper plasma cutter, have a look on the other side, guys. I'll put a review up there for you for that as well. See you later. Bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.